Hi students, I'll try in this educational video to express the strains in terms of deflection in the framework of the theory of thin plate bending, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, the matter that you see now in this slide represents the thickness side of a thin plate before bending. This thin plate before bending is defined by its thickness H and its middle surface before bending and also its normal to middle surface before bending. Uh, it's to note here that the thickness H is amplified for reasons of uh, visual clarity. The middle surface after bending and uh, the normal to the middle surface after bending are depicted here in red and the angle between the normal to the middle surface before and after bending is denoted by theta x. This theta x is the slope along the x direction and the slope theta y along with the y direction can be determined similarly. Since the deflection is considered small as uh, the first assumption taken into consideration by the theory of thin plate bending, this theta x will be considered small. Now we will try to, uh, to obtain the strain or to determine the strain in this point, for example, the point here depicted in blue. So this point is distant from the middle surface by a distance z, and uh, after bending, this point will be uh, displaced to the point depicted in red. The distance between the point depicted in blue, which is the point before bending, and, this, and the point depicted in red, which is the same point but after bending, will be uh, denoted by the letter u. As theta x is considered small, u will be equal to minus z multiplied by theta x. The strain along x, denoted by epsilon x, is the variation of the x component of the displacement, which is u, so it's the variation of u along the x direction, and I explained this in a previous video. So, if we inject uh, minus z multiplied by theta x as u, we obtain finally uh, a strain along x equal to minus z multiplied by the second derivative of the deflection along x. Of course, uh, z uh, means the distance separating the considered point to the middle surface of the plate. Similarly, the strain along y denoted by epsilon y uh, which is the variation of the y component of the displacement denoted by v along the y direction is determined as minus z uh, multiplied by the second derivative of the deflection along the y direction. Of course here epsilon x and epsilon y uh, represent the normal strain along x and y directions respectively. Now the shear strain in the x and y direction uh, denoted here by gamma xy is equal to uh, the variation of the x component of the displacement denoted by u along the y direction plus the variation of the y component of the displacement denoted by v along the x direction and I explained this in a previous video and uh, if we inject uh, u and v as a minus uh, z multiplied by theta x and minus uh, z multiplied by, uh, by theta y respectively, we obtain finally a shear strain gamma xy equal to minus 2 times z multiplied by the second derivative of the deflection along the x and the y directions. This educational video takes and please if you have any questions or remarks or suggestions, please mention it in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.